Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home and I am super excited to share this book with you guys and before I get going make sure that you hit the subscribe button and uh, if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh, do leave a comment if you're a new subscriber just say hi to me and I will definitely reply you back okay before I get going we do a lot of brain teasers and this brain teaser book yeah it's a brain teaser book uh, is a little difficult version so if your guy if your kids are um, I would say seven plus but you think you can push them further you can definitely um, uh, give this book to them to do and if you need a paid printable for this one definitely just leave an email to me on sonalikapoor08 at gmail.com I can reply to that or if you want to try this you can keep looking at the video and try it with your kids I would request that um, uh, make sure that you present each activity uh, over a couple of days because they're not easy they are a little difficult they are a little out of the box but they are going to be super engaging and a lot of fun okay so if you see this this is in itself an activity right here on the book okay uh, this is a puzzle that needs to be solved or a quiz that needs to be um, answered and there are uh, these random words or alphabets that you see they all form up a line okay and uh, the child needs to figure it out how and I'm telling you again this is a difficult version so primarily uh, 8 plus or 9 plus would be able to do it to 11 and 12 should be good for them okay so let's get going so this is the first one all these alphabets form up a line and the child needs to find what the lines are okay the second activity is square to square each of the colored squares below contain a different hidden number from 1 to 8 using the clues you can work work out which number goes where so if you see all these things all of them are uh, they all have a number so the number in the red square square is even the number in the dark blue and dark green squares add up to three all right so you have the instructions right here on how to solve this and how to find from one to eight which number belongs where okay so these are the instructions that you could see and I have given this work in progress page for uh, kids to figure it out, solve, and uh, yeah, and then they can write up the answers right here. Okay, and there are seven options that I've given and you will be able to figure it out very, not easily, but in some time, yes. Okay, activity number three, what is the four digit number in which the first digit is one third of the second digit, the third digit is the sum of the first and second, and the last is three times the second. So figure it out and put it right here. Okay, another one which is black and blue. So Viv, Riv and Tiv are wearing hats which they know are either black or blue. They also know that all, not all the three are blue. Viv can see Riv and Tiv's hat, Riv can see Viv, Tiv's and Tiv is blindfolded. Each is asked in turn if they know the color of their own hat. What color is Tiv's hat and how does she know? All right, so this is something uh, that you need to solve guys if you get stuck somewhere just shoot a message to me comment or email it to me like if you know want to know the answers once the child is stuck somewhere and if you want to know something further just just let me know okay so this is a barbell dilemma this is something that Vivan asked me a couple of days back and I just wanted to put it right here okay a village barber cuts the hair for everybody who doesn't cut their own hair but who cuts his hair okay and there are these four options uh, I'm not gonna say more because after looking at these like okay let me read it through but he doesn't cut his hair cut the hair of people who cut their own hair so he does cut his hair which takes us back to the start again but he's the man who cuts the hair of everyone who doesn't cut their own hair okay so the same thing has been written here four times you have to figure it out what the answer is all right so prime cubes you so the child needs to know the prime numbers to do this one Write the numbers 1 to 9 into the squares of 3 by 3 grid. So I've already given the grid here and there are 16 solutions. So I've given all the options. For some, I've already written the combinations to not make it very difficult. But if you think you're, you can make it more difficult for your child, you can keep them empty just the way I did. Or you can just like randomly put like one or two numbers. Like I put four numbers here, 3, 3, 3. I could have just put two of them too. So the number... It does not have to be the same prime number each time. So it could be different prime numbers. All you have to do is there are 16 different solutions. Let's see how many you can find. 
All right, going to my last one. What are the odds? Sometimes our brain misleads us. We can be influenced by things that are really true. Example, films make us believe that sharks are very dangerous to humans. In reality, more people are killed by hippos than sharks. Like that's something that oh, I didn't know. Okay, try put these causes to death in order of probability. So this is more of probability. You have from A to J options. Struck by lightning, playing soccer, falling down a manhole, walking into a lamppost, hippo attack, uh, hit by meteorite. So you have to do is you have to put your answers, uh, the cause of death, like what's more likely, okay, from A to J all over again. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and... Uh, a print for this one is available on request and it's a paid printable. So leaving my email address below. If you need it, just let me know, guys, and it will come with the answers. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.